Once a child develops hepatitis A infection or jaundice, there's a lot of morbidity associated with it. There is jaundice, there is lack of appetite, there is lethargy, the child is not able to go to school. And this infection is not for a few days. It takes weeks for the liver to recover. And if I see an average, it is at least a month, if not a few weeks more. In majority of the conditions, they improve in four to eight weeks and occasionally can take as long as three months to six months in rare situations. 20% of these children can develop problems like cholestatis jaundice, which means B2 this and itching or relapsing jaundice and certain issues related to the infection like pancreatitis, bone marrow depression, anemia, etc. But what is the most dreaded complication? Besides whatever the school laws, the time laws, the parents are also saying with the child. So the, the time that is lost by the work time, by the parents, their leaves, the child leave, all this even if you put aside, it's the mortality. What do I mean by it? Is hepatitis A infection is the commonest cause of liver failure in children in India. The smaller the child, less the chances of in liver failure. But in an adolescent or an adult, the incidence of liver failure is as high as 1 in 100 infection. What happens in liver failure? In liver failure, the patient's blood starts poor clotting, so there is bleeding tendency. There is the, the, the there is edema, so the child gets more irritable and gets into an encephalopathy state. Encephalopathy is where there is a swelling of your brain because of toxins which get into the brain. The liver is not working, so the toxins are not out of the body, and so they get into the brain, and there is a swelling which we call as hepatic encephalopathy cerebellate. That is the most dreaded complications, and sadly, it is said that once these children develop liver failure, 65% of them, on an average, cannot be salvaged without an excellent medical management. We at Medanta the Medicity reviewed our children who came to us with liver failure in the last 8 to 10 years. And what we saw that out of the 360 liver failures that we came across, 170 children were due to hepatitis A infection. And in this children, because of an excellent management, 70% plus we could salvage by medical management. And the rest needed a liver transplant to save their lives. What about those hundreds of children who develop hepatitis A infection and cannot access good tertiary medical care in terms of management, we would lose these children.